Over the past few weeks, I've been meeting some of the UK's most exciting entrepreneurs and finding out how they're changing their industries for the better. Today is Judging Day, where we will be announcing the winner of the 2019 Volvo Visionary Award. The winner will receive £60,000 to spend in the future development of their business. So, our first entrepreneur is Mersal Hedayat. Her struggles and story inspired Mersal to set up Chatterbox, a unique online platform pairing refugee tutors with professionals in similar fields looking to learn a language. In, in your mind, how big can this be? I don't see why Chatterbox couldn't be the biggest language learning product on the market. I think that um, the only limitation really for me has been um, to, to break out of maybe looking at some of my peers who are females or who are uh, working in the social impact space. Usually the businesses are quite small and local and I started off not even thinking that. I always wanted Chatterbox to be a global company. James Roberts was a student in his final year of a design engineering degree when he happened to watch a documentary on the Syrian war. It inspired him to redesign the incubator. Through a series of experiments, he came up with a prototype for the Mum Incubator, which is an inflatable unit that folds down to about the size of a briefcase. The person who wins today um, is going to receive £60,000 yeah. to help further their business's goals. So can you just give us a bit of a flavour of what you might spend that money on? I don't see Mum Incubator as just a, an incubator company. Um, we've always called Mum, uh, Mum Incubator's Mum. Um, we want to become that healthcare company with a heart. I think we'd put it straight into clinical trials to actually go in to save children's lives. That's, that's, the, be that's the best place, I think, to put it. Um, yeah, it'd be absolutely incredible. You don't understand how incredible it would be at this time of, of, of our business. Next up, we've got Natalie Fee. She's the founder of city to sea who are best known for their refill project. Refill was city to seas first major campaign, and it has taken a practical approach to tackling the problem of single-use plastic. So rather than buying bottled water, Refill allows you to refill water bottles free of charge right across the country. How will you fund yourself to go global? We've done a lot of research and there were some out last week as well showing that 85% of people want to do something about plastic pollution and Refill has given the power to do that and put that power in people's hands. So we have over 250 volunteers across the UK that have set up refill schemes or that are involved in refill schemes and they have community action days, they go out and they get their shops and cafes to sign up and they also speak to their shops and cafes about transitioning away from straws and stirrers and coffee cups as well. Um, we've also been working with Heathrow and Network Rail and we've had fountains, over 50 fountains installed as well and those fountains are having around 200 refills a day um, so we're really getting some great metrics from that as well. We've got the infrastructure, we've got the team, we've got the staff, we just don't have the funding and £60,000 is exactly the right amount of money for us to do that. And finally, we've got Helen Dempster, who's the founder of Carantis 360. After 25 years experience of watching her own family struggle to look after her grandfather with Alzheimer's, she developed a groundbreaking app allowing people to live independently for longer. So obviously, Helen, you're here today as one of our finalists for Volvo Visionary of 2019. What does that mean to you and how would you spend it? I've already decided in my head that we will use it to create the interactive diary piece. Um, that will help go towards social isolation at the moment. You know, care is one thing, loneliness is another, but they do actually go hand in hand. So that's where we would spend the money if we want. Well, I think we can agree they are all worthy finalists. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. However, only one can be named Volvo Visionary of 2019. So I'm going to leave you guys to have a chat amongst yourselves and come to a unanimous decision on who will be the winner. So I'll catch up with you later. A few of the things the judge is going to be looking for today include, is the idea original? Could the idea lead to transformative change? And does it have the potential to change the world for the better? We all agree that you are an incredible group of finalists, but there can only be one winner. So the winner of the Volvo Visionaries 2019 and the winner of the £60,000 is... Refill. Thank you so much. I'm really, really touched 
I'm really thrilled. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit shell shocked, um, quite emotional, and yeah, really happy. I'm really, really thrilled. I know we're going to do great things with it, and I know that now is the time. I mean, today meeting all the other finalists and just spending time with everyone and learning about their projects, like we're all doing such great work in the world. I just, I don't envy the judges for that job that they had today, but I think. I feel like it was a deserved win because I think unless we have a planet then none of the other stuff can happen. <laughs> so I'm slightly feeling like yeah we need to put the planet first and I'm really really thrilled that, that the judges decided to do that today.